Hello, in this video I wanted to show off my new 3D printed climb bottle. Uh, this was made for me by my friends, known on the internet as Datagraph, and I'll link to here in, uh, in the description. And it was originally designed by Gneech Shao, uh, I, I don't know, have a clue how you say that, uh, released under the CC by NC license, uh, and I'll link to, their thing ver to the Think First page in, it, in the description. Um, if you're not familiar with Climb Bottles, uh, they're really cool. I highly recommend Number Files video on them with Cliff Stoll. Cliff Stoll is, of course, the Climb Bottle legend. He makes glass for Climb Bottles, sells them on climbbottle.com. He has a few thousand of them underneath his house, as you do. Um, but if you can't afford one of them, um, or you just want a maybe quick one, 3D printer Climb Bottle, really cool. So, as a quick uh, overview of why a climb bottle is interesting. Pretty much, it is a one-sided shape. Now, you may have heard of a Mobius, uh, Mobius loop. So if I make a loop, loop of paper like this, as you can see it's got two sides, an inside and an outside. But if I make one half loop, one half turn, and I glue that down, um, I don't want to put a bit of glue there. Simply stick that down like so. You will see that there is now only one side to this loop of paper. If I get my pencil, I can draw a line. A bit tricky, but um, due to the curvature, but I can draw a line all the way. Around to this surface, and I will eventually nearly that. Here we go. I will get right back to where I started. So it's a one dimensional, well, sorry, a one sided uh, loop, which is really cool. Climb bottle is very similar. It's a one one uh, sided, well, bottle like thing. So if I'm an ant crawling along here, uh, and imagine all these holes aren't here. Imagine maybe this is made of glass or something. The holes are just here so that you can see it when it's made out of plastic. But um, quite often they're made out of glass from climbmuscle.com, made by Cliff Stoll, uh, or sold by Cliff Stoll. But just imagine you're an ant walking along the surface. You can cross over this smooth um, curve through this tube. All the way through the tube, coming around here inside the tube, and out into this big bulb thing. And you've got onto the um, inverted commas inside without ever crossing an edge. And contrast that to a a more regular bottle, like this water bottle here. And you can your ant has to cross this sharp edge to get from the inside to the outside. Whereas with this climb bottle. There is no such sharp edge. It's just smooth. Now there is one problem with all climb bottles in our uh, three-dimensional, three-dimensional space uh, universe, and that's this self-intersection here. You see, climb bottles are actually four-dimensional shapes, and in four dimensions, this would just simply sidestep into the into the fourth dimension, which we can't easily visualize fourth-dimensional space, and then connect around all nicely without any self-intersections. However, we only have three dimensions of space, so sadly that's not possible. Now you can liken this to drawing a cube in 2D. So a cube is obviously a three dimensional object, but you will quite often see them drawn in um, 2D something like this. Uh, this is a pretty normal 2D sketch of a cube. And you can see in two dimensions, got an intersection here, another one down here. So two, interse uh, two intersections. And you might be saying, well, no, of course, this line here is going in front of, of this one at the back. And this one back here, uh, down here, is going in front of this one at the back. But we can only say that because we live in three dimensions and we're used to this. If you're a flatlander, you only know two dimensions. There's no up or down for you. Just forwards, backwards and left and right. You, you would have no way to know that actually in 3D, 
this goes in front. And it's just the same here. In our three-dimensional view of things, we have no way to easily see that this does not self-intersect. This actually goes off to the side. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is my 3D printed climb model. Uh, as I said, I'll link to the number file video um, about them with Cliff Stoll in the description. Uh, trust me, once you've watched one Cliff Stoll video, he, he's just so good. You'll probably end up watching more. Um, yeah. Thank, uh, a bit different to my normal videos, not a calculator tutorial or anything like that. But I found it interesting and I hope you did as well. Thank you.